Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Lance from Nerfthus TV. Today we're having a look at the new IGTV, the portrait format and videos, and how to edit them in LumaFusion. Now there are obviously various ways to shoot a portrait video. You could use your phone, which most people do, and just uh, shoot it in an upright fashion. Or you can take existing footage, which is in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and then crop into it. So we're going to have a look at using a bit of both, but in this case we'll be using it in LumaFusion. So I'm going to presume that you already have your footage taken, so on your phone and you've copied it across to your iPad for LumaFusion or from your camera, etc. I'm going to start a new project, obviously. I'm going to call it IGTV test. Okay, the aspect of uh, the frame rate, I'm going to leave it 30 frames a second. The aspect ratio, okay, this is where it gets interesting. LumaFusion actually has the correct aspect ratio already built in. Now, the normal is 16 by 9, which is your landscape, which everybody's used to. But right underneath it, you'll see over there, is 9 by 16. So it's the same aspect ratio, except it's now upright in portrait, which is what we want. So we select that and we go and create our project. I'm going to go and import some footage that I've already got on iCloud. So let's import that one. Import the old selfie. And we'll import a, another one. Okay, now all of these were shot in either 4K or close to it. So the selfie, obviously, that's not 4K. If you go to the information for it, you'll see that it's actually in a 3K. But that's just because I used a phone to shoot that and that was the highest resolution I could get on the front camera. But for our purposes, it'll be fine. So first of all, I'm going to drop in some footage that I shot on a phone in portrait mode already. And I was using a gimbal uh, to, to steady my shot. Okay, so we'll just take a piece of that. And as you can see, it comes in already in portrait, fine, fit, everything. But the reason that it's actually fitting right away is under the global settings, you'll see there's a fit mode. And it's got fit, which will just actually compress it to whatever size, just as long as the whole clip can fit into it. You've got full, which is what we've got it on which is what we want. This will allow us when we bring in footage that's actually in 16 by nine or landscape mode to fit into the frame. Let me show you. I've got a piece of footage over here, which is shot traditional 16 by nine. And it's really just a boring shot of uh, my garden I'll scroll to the end there, go back to it, and I'll drop it in. Okay, so now you see what has happened is it's actually just cropped right into the middle, which is fine for most things as long as you've shot it and your action is all happening in that middle frame. But if it's not, you can actually go into the editing and go to frame and fit. And you'll see over here, you can now move this around to get the actual position or the footage that you're actually after. Not only this, but it also allows you to do some pretty interesting stuff. So say we've got this, this little lawnmower over here doing its little turn. 
Now, what if we want to follow it in our, and luckily we've got enough footage here to do that. So we can actually go and add in a keyframe and then play it a little bit. Play it a little bit more, play it a little bit more. And okay, he's not doing anything really interesting. But let's say we wanted to scroll across to here. We can then do that. And then if we go back to the beginning and we play it, you'll see now we've got ourselves a nice little pan shot in our what was essentially a very boring shot. So that's something interesting that you can, you know, use and change and so that's something interesting that you can now do because you've got the entire 16 by 9 and you're only really allowed to use a piece of it. Okay, so once we've done our changes there, we now have our little bit of a pan shot happening there and our pretty standard okay I took a bit of a, a little bit of a selfie there as well just to test the gimbal more than anything else and we can slap that in there what I'm doing here is I've actually got a mix of different resolutions so obviously I've got that 3k front I've got the 4k 60 frames a second uh, 16 by 9 and I've got the 4k 60 frames a second I think it's 60 frames a second let's just select that go to our info yes it is at 60 frames a second you can see that there okay so let's say we've done all our editing now and you want to export it the only thing with IGTV is that you're actually going to have to use the app to export it to or upload it sorry to IGTV so the app at this point only looks at your photos so you're gonna to have to export this to your photos your Apple um, built-in photos in order for it to be able to upload it so we go we do a movie and we want to go to photos now bearing in mind that everybody's going to be watching this on a phone so going more than full HD is probably not worth your while and also it's going to be a huge download or in this case an upload and your viewers are going to take a bit longer to view your stuff so going to a standard full HD obviously portrait not landscape will be fine for us here 30 frames a second what I want to do is up the quality a bit because I like quality even if it is full HD I want a nice quality and that's really it the rest of it you can leave H.264 is fine MP4 48 Hertz that's all pretty standard stuff and we go and export And because it's only full HD, it's actually going quite quickly. From here, it's just a case of using your IGTV app to upload your video that's now sitting in your photos and giving it whatever title you want. I hope you found this interesting and useful. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that uh, YouTube can let you know when I put up some more videos like this. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.